I'm Dana, and I'm going to show you how to make your ruched bikini bottom way cheaper than you can get them from Victoria's Secret because I'm really cheap. I would suggest for your first one going to like a thrift store and buying some swim bottoms just so if you screw up it's not a major ordeal. The best thing to do is to get some elastic tape. This is quarter inch, but you can also use a half inch. I've done both and I'm happy with both results. It just depends on you. I actually cut mine to four inches. Just kind of depends on how big your booty is and how much scrunch you want, but four inches works pretty well. The other thing you want to do is make sure that your thread matches your swimming suit are pretty close. And um, make sure you know the center of your back and kind of directing it where to go in the center of the bottom. The biggest part of this that's the hardest is to stretch this elastic as much as you can go. I've already put in a little anchor stitch and I do have it on the zigzag so it keeps it a little more stable. Let me just show you how fast and easy it is to make this a much better swimming suit. Just keep stretching and you're gonna have to pull the back because it's really gonna fight you. And this is the hardest part of the whole ordeal. You don't have to be a good seamstress because trust me, I am not. Just kind of stretch it out. And this, this thinner tape is a little easier to handle than that half inch tape. You're going to have a little bit at the end, but that's okay. You can cut it off. And you just come down to almost where the seam is. Take out your pin. Do a little back stitch just to anchor it. Cut your thread. I'm going to cut off this little, little tail here. And there you go. Cute little butt that's going to make your booties look amazing. Super easy.